Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn 6th class chapter 2 whole numbers, properties of whole numbers. Today let us see closer property. First we shall see closer property under addition. If A comma B are two whole numbers, then A plus B is also a whole number. See example, 2 comma 4 are two whole numbers. Then 2 plus 4 that equals to 6 is also a whole number. Now let us see closer property under multiplication. Let us see closer property under multiplication. If A comma B are two whole numbers, then A into B is also a whole number. See example 5 comma 6 are two whole numbers. Then 5 into 6 that equals to 30. That is also a whole number. Therefore, Whole numbers are closed under addition and multiplication. Let us think, are the whole numbers closed under subtraction? Let us see some example here. 7 minus 5 that equals to 2 which is a whole number. 5 minus 7 that equals to minus 2 which is not a whole number. Therefore, whole numbers are not closed under subtraction. See second question. Or the whole numbers are closed under division. See some examples here. 6 is divided by 3, we get answer 2, which is a whole number. If 3 divided by 6, we get 1 by 2, which is not a whole number. Therefore, whole numbers are not closed under division. See, division by 0. Division of a whole number by 0 doesn't give a known number as answer. Therefore, division by 0 is not defined. See example 3 divided by 0 that is undefined value. Any number divided by 0 we will get a unknown number that is undefined. Find out 12 divided by 3 and 42 divided by 7. 12 divided by 3 that means 3 table 12 how many times it will be divided 4 times. So we got answer 4. 42 divided by 7. 7 table 42 how many times it will be there? 6 times. So 42 divided by 7 answer is 6. Let us see second question. What would 6 divided by 0 and 9 divided by 0 will be equal to? Any number divided by 0 it is undefined. Therefore 6 divided by 0 or 9 divided by 0 we get answer undefined. Today we have seen Closer property under addition and multiplication. In the next video, we shall see remaining properties. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.